All right, in this episode of Bouts Talk and Bouts Happy, welcoming on a victorious Stephen Wilcox capturing the Canadian Super Lightweight Championship. How does all that feel, man? Uh, you know, it, f- it feels good. You know, coming here with uh, with no belts, leaving home with two. You know, it's it's what this is what we train for, right? We, now, now we just got to make the right move, and you know, onwards and upwards from here. Yeah, and I noticed you fought at Royal York prior in your career as well. Were there any distinct differences with fighting here tonight? Like, do you view your fight career in some sort of linear fashion, or is each fight a separate experience altogether for you? Um, each, each fight is a different experience. You got a different opponent, right? Different, uh, but you know, it's it's different fighting here. You know, you don't got your you're fighting at home, but you don't got your friends and family. You only got or you got your your close family and friends, but uh, you know, a lot of the other people you don't know. So it's kind of. You're, you're, he's in hostile territory, but he's actually, you know, it's kind of neutral grounds. Yeah, and you represent Hamilton and everything like that. How cool is it to have some of, like, the local compatriots coming on out and rallying behind you? Like, how much does that, I guess, galvanize your spirit heading into big fights? Yeah, I mean, of course. Any, any uh, you know, any, anytime you got fans or you got, you know, local Hamiltonians coming out to, uh, you know, support you, it's, it's you know, it, it, gives you that, it gives you that extra drive, right, when you're in that ring and... And you know, think things are going well, right? And then you hear, "Let's go Hammer, let's go Hammer Town." You know, it gives you that, it gives you that extra boost. Yeah, it seemed like you were really finding your stride and getting comfortable as the fight went on, and the volume never really seemed to waver. Like a very exhausting sort of style, especially in the clinch exchanges as the fight progresses. Well, what do you do in your preparatory measures to have that kind of cardio and maintain that pace on fight night? Uh, you know, we we were we were training hard for ten weeks. We knew what uh, we knew what Rod- Rudy was going to bring, and you know, we knew his, his main thing was he's he's tough. He's He's, he doesn't take a step backwards. It don't matter if you hit him hard, you rock him. He's, he's still he's still going to keep coming. He's going to come the whole ten rounds, right? So, so we knew we had to be in, uh, you know, tip top shape. Stick stick to our game plan. Don't, you know, don't get off the game plan. Keep keep doing what you're doing, and uh, and that was it. Was there anything at all that surprised you about what he brought to the table in terms of his approach tonight? Um. Not, yeah. He, he, he when he when he got in, he he he. Um, I find he, he let his hands uh, let his hands go a little more than, than usual when he got inside. Um, but we knew we knew he, we kind of had a feeling he was going to be more more aggressive because we're we're a taller boxer, right? And he, he knew he wouldn't be able to box us. So for him to win was uh, you know lay, put put the put the chest on you and just you know hopefully wear me down. But that's why we had to make sure we were in tip top shape. How much confidence do you build off an experience like that? Because in like a generalized sense, sometimes like the stockier, shorter guys kind of favor the clinch position a little easier. But you definitely ramped that up in that regard as the fight went on. How much confidence does exchanges like that give you? Uh, it gives me confidence, but you know, I, I know, you know, my, my coaches are going to let me celebrate a couple of days, but then I'll, I'll be getting in some uh, in some trouble when, <laughs> when we watch the tape. You know, we, we let him, we let him. I got, I was getting a little too too comfortable in there. And he was kind of when you got on the inside, we let him in the inside too much when we, we were when we were outboxing him on the outside, and then we would give him a chance to get inside when we shouldn't have done that. We should have just kept kept him on the outside, kept him on the outside, right? But but of course it's boxing. You gotta, but that's you know you gotta learn to, you know, when you, all the greatest boxers in the world they, they, they don't fight one way, right? You got you gotta know all difference. You gotta be an, I gotta be an expert on the outside boxing. And I got to be uh, great on the inside too. I can't just be a one-dimensional fighter. And that's definitely a champion mindset too. And to that point, is there a certain kind of like schedule you would want in 2019? Like a certain amount of fights you'd ideally want to get? Anything like that? Uh, we've already had two this year. You know, we're gonna sit down. Um, my brothers are fighting uh, ne- next week in, in Moncton, so I'll help them out training. And then I'm going away on vacation with um, with my girlfriend. So I'm gonna have two weeks of just just you know just just to relax, and then and then back to the drawing board. We know. You know, it's um, you know now we're getting getting back up in, in the world ranking, so we just gotta take it step by step, and you know we we just sky, sky's the limit now. You know we we can't we can't go we can't go backwards. We can only go forwards. So I guess gotta sit down with my team and see what they uh, see what they what they want next. Yeah, cool. I hope you have fun on that vacation and everything like that. But in the immediacy, the moment you probably want to get out and have a little fun. What's on the agenda for the rest of the night? Uh, rest of the night, uh, you know, just go go out with my. Uh, with my family, girlfriend, friends, and you know, have a nice, have a nice meal. Um, it was it was my birthday yesterday, so I wasn't allowed no cake. So we're gonna have, you know, a little late night cake, and just I just want to just no party and just enjoy the night with my family and girlfriend and friends. 
Hell of a cool present, though. I mean, a lot of work and punches went into getting it, but you netted that belt there, so that must be cool, too. And happy belated birthday, yeah. too, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, that's what my, my, my mom... My mom said, you, your birthday present this year, Stephen, you got to go get it on your own. We can't do it for you. So, <laughs> and, a, and we did. <laughs> that's a beautiful way to end things off, man. Appreciate the time, Stephen. Enjoy the rest of your night, man. Thank you.